welcome back to our channel when working in an artificial intelligence machine learning project with multiple images performance of system may be slowed due to lots of pixels in the images especially if the images are colored one to overcome this situation we have to consider image compression using principal component analysis we will do image compression and compare the resultant picture with the original picture the left side is the original picture and the right side image is the result of principal component analysis let us implement this in python code before seeing the implementation please subscribe to our channel if you have not already subscribed for compressing colored image in python using principal component analysis there are five steps the first step is to read the image the second step is to reshape the image so that it is understandable by principal component analysis and the third step is to run the pca with chosen n components and transform the image the step 4 is to inverse transform and recreate with original dimension and the last step is to display the compressed image although there are five steps most of these steps are with just one or two lines of statements it's easy to implement it Uh, we have the matplotlib library for rendering and plotting the image and numpy to manipulate the multidimensional array another important package is skylearn which provides the uh, principal component analysis based on unsupervised machine learning algorithm so let me uh, from uh, sklearn dot decomposition Uh, let us import principal component analysis so moving to the first step read the image so i have the image picture uh, uh, in the jpeg format which is a rows image in the same directory as this python file this is uh, the image for which we will do the compression with principal component analysis so we will uh, uh, read this image to our image array object and the next step is to reshape this image to the principal component analysis understandable format for that first we have to know the size of this original image so let us Uh, get the size of the original image by calling image dot shape and run it. The original image is of two thirty rows with each having two hundred and nineteen by three pixels. So on knowing the size, let us proceed to convert this into a format that is understandable by PCA. Call the image object as image re that is reshape so as we know 230 rows 219 by 3 are the pixels so 219 multiplied by 3 pixels for 230 rows in the image object we'll reshape this this shall be understandable for applying principal component analysis after this reshape let us once again try to get the shape of this reshaped image array object so once again running this code the original image size is 230 rows with 219 by 3 pixels so reshaped into the uh, usable dimensional array as 230 by 657 657 657 is nothing but 219 by 3 which is what we have reshaped by using uh, numpy uh, method reshape so moving to the third step let us run the pca with 20 components and then transform it so pca is 
PCA with 20 components fit to image that is reshape image object. Then after fitting PCA, let us transform and call this as image transform array object pca.transform by passing image reshape object. After image reshape, let us try to print and get the size of this transformed image transformed object. And this is based on PCA. So let me call it as PCA transformed image. So in step 3, we are fitting PCA with 20 components and transform the reshaped image and we will print the shape or the size of this transformed PCA transformed image. We can see uh, the PCA transformed image is 230 by 20. That means 230 rows with 20 components. 20 because we are fitting PCA are running the compression method using principal component analysis by just choosing 20 components. So we can visualize or we can understand how much it has compressed. Now we have to visualize it to see how this compression based on PCA will look like. For that we have to inverse transform and reshape the image to original dimension for visualization. So the fourth step is have the image uh, array image uh, inverse transform array to which we shall call PCA inverse transform and image Transform is the parameter which is the transformed image object. Now, after inverse transform, we have to reshape it to the original dimension. Then only we can visualize it. So, let me call the uh, image object as image and reshape to our original dimension for this inverse object and as we remember the original dimension is 230219 with 33 three indicating RGB. So now we have inverse transformed and reshaped to the original image dimension. Now it is ready for visualization. So the last step is that we are going to plot this it is better if we make the axis off to visualize these images. Plot I am show shall take the image to display it and here we want to set the type of our image as unsigned integer 8. So let me set it as unsigned integer 8 and show the image. That's it. So on running it, let us see how our image looks like. Uh, this is a compressed image with 20 components for principal component analysis. We can see the original and the principal component analysis. Maybe we will try with uh, say 40 components and see how uh, better it will be. So we will fit PCA with 40 and transform it and again inverse transform to create the original dimension before displaying the inverse transformed image. So once again running this, definitely this is better than the 20 component. The present 40 component is better than the 20 component. 
needless to say it is of reduced size the image is compressed but still it could replicate our original image please subscribe to our channel and click the like button write your comments in the comment section